Currently, you have a beautiful landing page and this is, let's say, pretty dynamic because, well, you can press the button, you can show the model, close the model and so on. But what happened about the functionalities? What happened about, well, eventually subscribing a user to your landing page? Well, that is exactly what we are going to start exploring this class when we introduce the usage of LiveWire because LiveWire is going to work behind the scenes with Laravel to understand, receive the information, receive the request about, for example, the email of the subscriber, create that instance that we are going to see in a following class. For now, we are just going to explore what we need in our project to get it working and how it works. And of course, as I said, in following classes, we are going to make much more serious implementations of the actions. So let's just start in our landing page. As you see, we can go to subscribe. And what we want here is once the user issue any email, anything here and goes to get in, we are going not to send this formulary directly or something like that, but we are just going to, well, put in our log the information that the user sent. And eventually, as we are going to see in a future class, validate that information. Don't worry, we will go step by step with this. So let's do introduce right now Laravel LiveWire. You can go to the special website of the documentation. There you have a quick start if you prefer, or you can go directly to the documentation. We can install LiveWire. In fact, we already installed it. And you already may remember that we have to include the live wire styles and the live wire scripts. So that is exactly what we are going to do right now. Remember, we already have some layouts, so we can use those specific layouts to include the styles and the scripts of live wire into the whole structure of views that we have using those specific layouts. So let's go to resources views, and there is, of course, the layouts folder, and we have app.blade.php and guest.blade.php. So let's just start with this. We have the live wire scripts, but we are going to put them before closing the body. And in the case of the styles, we are going to put this just after our custom styles. So let's just put it here, live wire styles. And let's just do exactly the same in the case of the app layout. So let's go there app.blade.php and once again we have the styles here and we are going to put before closing the body tag the live wire scripts so at this point that means that any component any view that is using this specific layout app or guest in fact we are going to need both of them is going to get access to the live wire styles and live wire scripts which is half of the process but we need to introduce something new in the case of LiveWire, which is the components. Basically, a component, as you can see here, is a class that we can create using PHP Artisan that contains the logic, the component to renderize, and most importantly, the actions that we can take into account to well increase, for example, a counter, subscribe a user, generate a new instance of a model in our database, and so on. Laravel LiveWire is pretty functional, it's pretty flexible, and you are going to see how to use it right now. So let's to create our first component for our landing page. And for that, as you remember, we need to use PHP Artisan. So we have PHP Artisan. And in fact, we have a lot of additional features that we can explore if you prefer. We have a new group, a new category of commands for LiveWire, which are configure, copy, delete, discover. All of them are pretty functional and usable to publish the configurations, to generate a new component, to move a component from one side to other, and so on. And of course, we can eventually create a component. But additionally, we have in the make category another component called make live wire. This is exactly what we have here to well create a live wire component. Remember, a live wire component is a class. It is basically like a controller when we have the actions and the logic that we want to perform once the user does something. For example, clicks a button, sends a formulary, modify an input, and so on. So once again, we have PHP artisan make live wire. And the name of the component is going to be landing page. 
And once we're presenter, if you prefer, you can, of course, add some stars to the repository of the Livewire project. If you prefer, I already did it, but it is, of course, optional. I'm going to say now because I already did it, as I said, but you are completely free to do it if you prefer. It is your decision, of course. And most importantly here, we created a class called landing page located in app HTTP Livewire and the view that this specific component is going to renderize called landing page in a different case using dashes here located in views live wire landing page. So if we go there, up HTTP live wire, then we have the landing page, which is renderizing a view located in live wire landing page. And now if we go there to resources views live wire landing page, that is it a perfectly empty component, but there is something important here. Always the components, the views of the components on Livewire must include a single root element. Normally it is a div, could be anything, but must be only one. We should not have different elements on the root, only one to get it working properly. So take that in mind. Now, how can we include in, for example, our welcome view, the new component called landing page? Well, let's to do it. We can put a new tag, which is live wire colon landing dash page. And this is, of course, a tag. Now, if I save and go to the browser, we can refresh. Let's to put this side by side. We don't have nothing different because, well, as you may imagine, this component is completely empty. So let's do something. For example, a paragraph saying hello from component. So this is going to be in the top without any kind of a style, but there we have hello from component. So what may happen if we move all the contents of the welcome view from here to that specific component? Well, let's do it and see what happens. So let me copy all of this. In fact, I'm going to cut that. And we finished with only this, the guest layout, including inside the live wire landing page. Of course, if I refresh here, we will have only so the hello from component. But if we go back here and put all of our content inside, we will have a one single div as root. Remember, we put everything inside. Inside here, we have the indigo component. Then additionally, we have inside this, the background of our model and the model itself with the form for the subscription. So if we refresh, we have exactly the same, but now we migrated everything to a component of the wire. Now, what is the deal here? We just move something from one side to the other. What is the magic? Well, once we have this inside a component of Livewire, we can do anything that we need that, of course, Livewire allowed to us. We can model an element. We can put any public attribute to get access to it. Like, for example, the email, we can create access. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So once the user clicks on subscribe, what we want to do is to execute an action into our component. So we are here in our landing page, the new component that we created. And let's go to that specific button to get in. And what we are going to do is to add a new line here. And we are going to say wire, click, and there we will have, of course, the name of the action that we want to execute. For example, subscribe. Now, this is going to attach a click event to this specific button. And once it is clicked, we are going to eventually subscribe a user. But there is a better way. In fact, we can go back and we can attach that specific event to the form. So here we can say something like wire submit. It means when we are sending this specific form, we are going to execute this specific action. This is exactly the same, but we need to be sure to add a modifier here, which is prevent in order to well prevent this form to be sent and refresh the web page. In fact, Livewire is going to take care of this and send the information without refreshing the page at all. It is going behind the scenes, send an Ajax request as we are going to see with the information once we get it working. So let's go back here. Let's to refresh. And if we click on subscribe and then we click on get in, we are submitting the form, but this is going to fail. And why is this? Well, this is because 
the public method subscribe does not exist in the component that we just created associated with the landing page. So, well, let's to do it and see what happens. So let's go to the landing page. I create that specific action, which means needs to be a public function, of course, with that specific same name, which is subscribe. So let's do something simple. Lock the book and we are going to put a number or something like that. Be sure to put here the backslash in the beginning to don't have to import the definition for now. This is just a temporal matter to the book, some information. And that means that once we execute the subscribe action of this live wire component, we are going to have a 111 in our log. So let's explore the Laravel log. It is located in storage logs, Laravel.log. And let's to clean all of that to get a fresh view of our log. So let's to close this. And once I click on get in multiple times, you can see we don't have an error and we are successfully executing this action and you say one, one, one. Now, how it is working, let's see. We can explore the network tab here. And once I click on get in, immediately we are sending behind the scenes and out of the box for us. We didn't have to create any JavaScript, any additional code for this. Once we do this, this is sending a post request, as you can see here, with the information that we have and some others that are going to be used internally by LiveWire. So as you can see here in the updates, this is saying, hey, the method to execute is subscribe. And eventually, if we had some elements here, some values, we can model that later saying, hey, I want to model this specific input to an attribute in our form. And that is exactly what we are going to do because we want to somehow add to our log the way to say what was the email that the user specified there. So for that, we are going to need a public attribute. This needs to be public because we are going to get access to it from the view of the component using LiveWire, of course. And this is going to be called email. Now, what we are going to do is to say, hey, instead of putting 111, we are going to put the value of the current email that we have here. So let's see how it is going to work. Basically, if the user inputs something here and we click on get in, we should be able to get the email, but we need an additional step. We need to say to LiveWire that we want to model what we have here in the input to that specific email attribute that we have in the component because currently LiveWire doesn't know how to assign a value and how to synchronize the value of the email based on what. In this case, that is what we are going to do. We are going to use this specific input of the email to model and synchronize on real time almost the value of this specific attribute. So for that, we use wire model and we specify only the name of the public attribute that we have here, which is email. So that means that every time that we change something here, LiveWire is going to send a request refreshing the data, the information, the value of this specific email here. And once we click on subscribe, we are getting the latest possible value of this and we are going to add that in the log. So let's to clean the log once again. Let's to go back here and refresh. And if we click on subscribe, we can send, for example, test a test and we can get in and you can see how we have two different requests. The first one sent the change that we made exactly to that specific email. You can see test at test.com. In fact, if I close this, you can see how every time that I change something, we are sending a different request with a new information that we have. This is the latest one. So as you can see here, this is exactly the email that we are sending. So if I click on get in again, this is going to send that specific email. In fact, you can see how cool is this because we are automatically out of the box by LiveWire disabling the button while we are sending that specific form. So if we go back here, there you have the first time that we sent it was test at test.com. Then we made some modifications and send it two times. Of course, we need to make some different validation that is not empty, that is not repeated. We are going to explore all of that later. But for now, we can see how powerful and how cool is working LiveWire into our project. Eventually, you can see here if we inspect the button, 
how at the end this is automatically adding the attribute to block this specific button saying it is disabled. That's all. You are completely safe that the user is not going to click several times while the form is being submitted. That's all. At this point, got everything working, perfectly functional using Livewire, of course. At this point, you created your custom component called landing page and you move everything from the welcome view to that specific component. And doing that, you get access to all the capabilities of Livewire to listen to submit events or for clicking or similar. So this is just the beginning of everything that we are going to do. In fact, we already have the initial capabilities and we already meet all of our stack. We meet Tailwind, we meet Alpine, we meet Livewire and of course Laravel that we are been using across the entire classes. So for now, once you have a clear idea of every one of our components and we have the initial steps to get it working, let's continue now in the following section to get it working much better, to eventually subscribe a user, to eventually create instances and records in our database and show success messages and so on. We are going to get all of the components of our tall stack working together one by one, class by class. So see you there.